Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier, and welcome to my no bullshit overview of understanding insurance, zero dollar upgrades, cross chassis upgrades, melting and gifting. This video is going to talk you through some basic information and then some advanced manipulation of the upgrade system. This is a lot of topic and I've tried to keep it very compact for you. If you have any questions after the video, please feel free to use the comment section below. These excellent techniques are going to allow you to get exactly the ship you want and be ready for all the future sales. Please fast forward with the provided link if you feel comfortable with the basics. Alright, so let's begin. It's actually quite funny that the most talked about thing on the forums is actually the thing that won't matter after launch. Of course I'm talking about insurance. All ships are going to come with some form of insurance. The actual insurance won't be activated until much later in the development cycle. We're still very much in the alpha development and testing phase. Ships come with 3 month, 6 month, 1 year, 2 year, 3 year or lifetime insurance. And this year as part of the anniversary sale I wouldn't be at all surprised to see 4 year insurance offered. Once the insurance grace period runs out, don't worry, it's not the end of the world. It's been mentioned on numerous occasions over the years that the operating cost of insurance will be minimal. Just like insurance on a car, you're going to pay a small fee to protect a huge asset. Lifetime insurance is a small perk offered to backers who manage to buy a game asset as part of a concept sale. I say again, this will not become a massive advantage, it is a very minor perk. Let's talk about basic gifting, melting, unmelting and store credit. Any ship or ship package that's bought completely with cash is giftable. Any ship package that is bought with any part of store credit is account bound, meaning you may not gift it. You may however buy and melt ships as frequently as you like without penalty. You may unmelt most previously melted packages or ships unless they're part of a special promotion. When unmelting, you may use store credit 4 times per year using a special credit token. The tokens are replaced at regular intervals throughout the year. If you do not use the token, you won't get a second one. Now on to a cross chassis upgrade or CCU for short. Any ship that's available in the store will also be available for what's known as a CCU. You may CCU up from any ship to a ship that's equal or higher in value. For example, the Aurora LN can be upgraded to an Avenger Titan. But you can't downgrade an Avenger Titan to an Aurora LN. The CCUs are available on the website in the store tab under Upgrades. You can buy a CCU for any ship regardless of whether you own the ship or not. Limited ships are available periodically throughout the year as part of special events, the military sale and the anniversary sale. When the limited ships are on sale, so are the CCUs to those ships. Once you bought a CCU, you don't need to use it right away. This is great if you are upgrading from a flyable ship to a concept ship. You can keep the CCU and apply it after the target ship hits hangar or flight. This one's actually very popular, the $0 CCU. With some simple planning, this one will let you buy certain limited ships even after the limited sale is over. Some ships such as the Vanguard Warden, the Banu Merchantman, the Vandal Blade, and the Redeemer are exactly the same store price. What makes this important is that the Redeemer is always on sale. You can use that to your advantage. It's really unfortunate to miss out on the sale window, so you should never let that happen again. During those rare occasions when the limited ships are available, you could buy several CCUs from a Redeemer to any of the limited ships I mentioned before. It would cost you nothing, so there's nothing stopping you from adding let's say 5 of each to your cart. 2 months from now you decide you want a Warden, and you can add it to your fleet. You would just buy a Redeemer, and then upgrade it to a Warden with your free upgrade token. There are several situations like this the 315P and the Reliant Core, the Gladius and the Hull B, the Cutlass Black and the M50. Each of those examples are a limited ship that you can upgrade from a regular ship. Unfortunately, this trick will only help you in select cases. There aren't many examples for a $0 CCU, but there's also several cheap CCU options. Here's how that would work. Let's say that the Sabre was on sale. You really, really want that Sabre, but you don't want to fully commit to the price on the pledge. You could basically do a mini layaway plan for yourself. You could buy a CCU from a Connie Taurus to a Sabre for 20 bucks. The Taurus is always on sale. So when you're finally ready to buy that Sabre, you buy a Taurus and apply the token. Bam! Sabre in your hangar even after the sale. The Flip Flop CCU. You can also use a CCU to switch between two identically priced ships at will. A Super Hornet and the Gladiator are both the same price. If you owned either of those two ships, the next time that they're on sale buy 5 CCUs in each direction. Whenever you want to try something different, you can just switch one for the other and keep Arena Commander a little bit more interesting. Once again, this costs nothing and it only requires a little bit of planning. All you need to do is watch out for when the ships are on sale. This works for the 325A and the Mustang Delta, the Base Hornet, Cutlass Black and Buccaneer, the 350R and the Hornet Ghost, the Gion Scout and the Sabre. We're almost done. The LTI Token. Now, there isn't actually an LTI token. It's just what some citizens call a cheap concept ship. These little ships are normally about 30 or 40 dollars, and some citizens buy them by the dozen. Remember that any ship that you upgrade retains its original properties. That's what people are after, the lifetime insurance. So now it's sale time, and rather than buying that Sabre with 6 month insurance, 
you could CC a Drake Dragonfly to a Saber for the same price, but it would have LTI. I'm totally contradicting myself, but hear me out. Earlier I said that LTI doesn't matter, which is still true. But, for the same cost, why wouldn't you? For my next example, let's say that the Orion was available and that you wanted one. If you buy it from the store, let's say it comes with 6 month insurance. But if you upgraded a P72 or Dragonfly, at the same price it would come with lifetime insurance. Here, this one gets a little bit messy. Remember that I said that anytime you use store credit to buy a ship, that it's account bound. There's actually a way around that. Remember when I said that the host ship properties are retained through upgrade? If you had an LTI P72 that was bought with cash, you could do this. Even if you bought a $140 CCU to a Sabre with credit, because the original P72 was bought with cash, the new Sabre would actually be giftable. I personally would never do this unless I knew the person in real life. The potential to get taken advantage of is ridiculous and not worth the risk. 100% CIG will not care if you get screwed doing this. For my final suggestion, I'm going to use a MISC prospector sale that happened a couple weeks ago. Let's say on day one you bought one and then melted it. Let's say on day two you bought one and then melted it, and then continued to do that all week. The end result is that it would cost you nothing, but that you would also have nothing to show for it. This might not make any sense at all, but hear me out. Let's say that an org mate missed out on the sale. You could technically unmelt one of those ships from your account and gift it to them. Or maybe you hadn't decided yourself if you wanted that ship or not. So let's recap. Whenever there's a limited ship sale, you have the opportunity to give yourself options in the future for free. Buying and melting LTI ships or upgrades in combination with the unmelting tool can let you have exactly the fleet you want or help your friends get the ships that they want. I hope that this video helps you get more out of the store. I'm always looking to bring the community unique topics. My goal is to grow my channel and I can't do that without the help of citizens like you. Please like and subscribe to help me get the word out about Star Citizen. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.